All right, my beautiful friends, here we are uh, together again at last post-market report on this Monday, October 26, 2019. I believe the culling is complete. We have a better environment. Okay, here we go. Let's talk about this market and a few other things that are going to affect it in a big way. Let's start off with this nice little rally here on Wall Street. Actually, not even that little. Dow Jones Industrial Average put on like 250 points again. Uh, it this seems to be well. You know what? We're going to get to that. Let me let me show you this first here because this is the first time you're going to see this right now. The first time this has occurred since 2007. Not getting much coverage here. Look at the two year. The two year yield 1.545. Look at the 10 1.54. Okay. Uh, the yield curve stayed inverted most of the day. This is the first time since 2007 that the 2 to 10 inversion uh, has closed uh, with the market at that level. It's kind of interesting. Uh, but again, if you notice, very little, co almost no coverage from the financial channels. Do you remember how big it was? It was huge news. You're not supposed to know that now. No, ignore the yield curve. It doesn't matter. It's different this time. You know, let's talk about different this time. Yeah, it is different this time for so many reasons. The variables are off the charts. Let me explain this to you real quick. Um, what causes investors around the world to put money to work in the US markets. Would, would, you, would you be surprised to know that it is the perceived or current policies of the current president? This is why. <laughs> if you don't pay attention to what comes out of, especially in this case, the president's mouth, uh, you you cannot trade this market. You you are lost. You're you're a ship without a rudder, um, and it, it, this this environment is very unique. Again, we've never had a guy like that like this before in the White House. Um, policy by tweet. I mean, it's uh it's pretty it's pretty incredible. Now we need to put a few things into perspective here, and uh, we're going to do that. Number one. What drove the markets today? What started the reversal? We all know it was apparently uh, the president explaining that China wants to negotiate. I mean, it was incredible. A blink of an eye, a 500-point gain from being 300 points in the negative with regard to the futures. Um, now, it's everywhere. And I, and I did not know this when I did my video this morning, but China is strongly denying that anything has changed. They are denying any talks between the president or the president's uh, representatives and, and China. As a matter of fact, they're saying it's ridiculous at best. This is Chinese media. Uh, so there is a discrepancy there. Now, you can deal with one discrepancy. How about two? The second discrepancy is this. Japan is denying, and do not take my word for anything I'm saying here. Japan is denying that they have agreed to the concessions that President Trump said they have. So we have two, we have China, we have Japan, both saying, hold on a second, something is wrong here. Uh, yeah, something is very wrong here. Um, and it's being reflected in the yield curve. Now, let me explain to you what I believe we're seeing. Um, we're trying to see a, a desperate act for the president to, again, get some confidence back in this market. Like I explained to you, the market runs off confidence. The fact that we had a 2 to 10 inversion through to the close of the markets today hasn't happened since 2007. Remember that. That's a no confidence vote. And the fact that we're seeing, again, going back to what I was explaining before, business investment, cash around the world, the reason why it would go into the United States, and we're seeing this drop off. Business investment 
is falling off of a cliff. So the, and again, don't take my word for it and prove me wrong, okay? Uh, so why, why are business not, businesses not wanting to put money to work? Because they have no idea. Uh, the mainstream financial channels are even calling this environment, this is the word they're using, people. Don't, don't take my words. I'm going to steal their word, chaotic. They're saying this is a chaotic environment. Well, why would it be chaotic? I mean, let's think about it. We have, you know, I'm going to like, uh, because we did a lot of culling here since the weekend through today, I'm going to stop with the gonzo and the gonzo tards. It's catching on, though, I have to tell you. It's out there. Um, but I really did want to get, the, get these people out of here. I want free thinkers here, period. Uh, I want people that would verify my information and call me out when I'm wrong, okay? These are free thinkers. And I applaud you for calling me out when I do get it wrong. And that happened recently. Remember I said the president did not say or he ordered uh, by, by order, whatever, however he said it, by decree or whatever it was, I hear by order, uh, companies to leave China. I, I defended the president. I said he didn't say that, but he did, wrong. he did say that. You all called me out on it? Thank you very much. I appreciate it. I corrected myself, and I will correct myself again if I get any of this wrong. I pride myself on getting it right. I have to be right. It's my business. Anyway, so that's why we're seeing business investment fall off of a cliff here. This is why we're seeing the manufacturing sector literally in contraction for the first time um, in a decade here. Businesses don't want to invest in the United States. Um, this inflated stock market, this, the only reason why we're seeing this is easy money. Promises of easy money, promises of rate cut, all the repatriated cash that was supposed to go into hiring. You remember the president said, I promise that these companies, this is his words, um, are going to put that cash to work to hire people. It didn't go there. Do you remember this guy? You see the guy here? Right here. I explained to you when the president was saying those words, I mean the same time frame that it was not going to happen. I explained to you that that cash was going to go into stock buybacks. That's exactly where it went into, and it's still happening now. So again, where is the, where does the truth lie? You know, again, um, this is the part which got to me a little bit today. So the president's sitting there explaining about how China uh, wants to negotiate. China saying it's ridiculous. At the same time he's saying this on live television, um, he's pushing the narrative while it's being debunked. It was embarrassing. It was embarrassing as a U.S. citizen to see that, to see a sitting president lie as it's being covered all over the place. And he kept on going. He said this again, people, and you might want to sit down. I'm not beating up the president. Verify what I said. If I got it wrong, you call me out on it, okay? The president said China wants a deal badly. Again, it's the rinse cycle. It's President Trump in the rinse cycle. I don't know. Rinse, repeat, rinse, repeat. It doesn't work. Rinse, repeat, rinse, repeat. It's it's a pretty it's pretty epic. Forgot to shut my ring off. Anyway, um, so that, that's where we are. So think about it. Businesses around the world and here in the United States, they invest in a president. They can't invest in this guy right now. Uh, and this is setting something up I want to talk about because it's chaotic. And this is not Greg Manorino saying it. All right, like I said, I'm going to lay off the gonzo. I'll lay off the gonzo tires. I have culled the zombies. The zombie killer has freaking won in a big way. That's who I am <laughs> today. I'm also the Robin Hood of Wall Street, but you know that. So understanding this, that there's an environment of chaos, okay? This is the financial channels explaining this. This is business leaders who don't know what to do. We have this yield curve inversion, which again, it's, uh, it's monumental that we just close with a 210 inversion. And let's see if it maintained. Okay, because uh, when I do these videos, they do them right at the market. Close. Oh, it got worse. Look at that. 2, 1.54, 10, 1.53. So since 2007, first time. Let me shut this ringer. Anyway. Um, so we got that to deal with. We have politics to deal with, we really honestly do have um, an enormous amount of misinformation and frank lies from the president, formerly known as Gonzo. <laughs> Sorry, 
I said I wasn't going to say it again. Uh, but anyway, um, but look, what does this mean? I was looking at longer term charts here. And I am certain that some of you technicians can verify what I'm about to say. And if I got it wrong, you call me out on this too. Uh, I'm looking at longer term charts earlier today. And it looks like there's like a, almost a free air gap coming up relatively soon down. Now, why would that play out? Again, this, this whole trade war thing, this is a cycle. Uh, you know, rinse, repeat, rinse, repeat. China's already making all these denials. Japan's denying too. But so when we find out what the truth is, the market's not going to like it. We're going to fall back and then it'll get rinsed and repeated again. It'll be like, you know, uh, China really wants a good deal. Did you hear the president today praising, praising G, G, President G, XI? Help me out with the name. I don't know. So this guy goes from his enemy to now being praised by the president. Something is wrong there, too. Um, let me explain to you. This is the art of the con. And I'm going to put that in a little light on that to you. So what he's trying to do is say, okay, look, uh, it's been debunked. China, you know, they called me and they want to make a deal. They want to negotiate. So to, to make it literally sound more believable, he's got to praise the guy. So there's the art of the con. You understand? Um, it really works very simply, very easy. Uh, and he's trying to pull an art of the deal on you to try to get you to believe that the art of the con is real. The art of the con uh, is, is treachery, in my opinion, and may actually be uh, traitorous, in, in my opinion, when a sitting president has to distort the truth to such a degree, even on live television, when it's being debunked. I took a nice snapshot of this, if you want to see it, and I posted it on Twitter, I posted it on Facebook, I posted it on my chat room, traderschoice.net. Let me tell you something about that, okay? You want to see some of the smartest people you're ever going to meet? Smarter than me, that's the truth. You go to my chat room. These guys got it down, for the most part. Of course, there's those trolls out there, <laughs> and the previously known, uh, you know, I'm not even going to say it. I'm not going to say it. Guys are tards! Yeah, I did. Okay, I said it. Sorry. All right, look, uh, I'm really going to lay off of that. Um, we culled them. We. And I saw the help I got from a lot of you out here. <laughs> I do read the comments, and some of them... I want to tell you, I was rolling on the floor here, laughing, um, because it's funny, they personally attacked me, they were personally attacking some of you, but they got nothing, they got nothing, they're trying to back it up with facts that are, there isn't any, but thank you for those of you that did that, and thank you for the laughter, I was like, look at this, oh my god, anyway. All right, so with that said, I really hope this makes sense to you, what I have explained to you, why the market rallied today, uh, the, 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 the denials by China, the denials by Japan, a potential big drop in this market, a big air gap. Uh, I would love to hear from you technicians out here. Do you see the same thing I see? The fact that confidence has really been shaken in this market, the rinse-repeat cycle with the, do with the dog shit, uh, trade talks are going great. No, they're not. Trade talks are going great. No, they're not. China wants to make a deal. No, they don't. I mean, you can go, it's just, it's too much. And the fact that we're seeing business investment here in the United States fall off a cliff, that says a lot along with the inverted yield curve, which again, don't you think it's kind of funny how big this news was? And now it's getting, it might be getting news now. Again, this is the first time it's occurred. We've had a market close where it's uh, inverted since 2007. So this might be getting coverage now. I don't know. So, uh, as always, people, look, this guy here, and I mean this, this is why I dealt with the culling and the name calling and the personal attacks. I love all of you. I want to create an environment of free thinkers, not people that are being either paid to shill, paid shills, uh, subs from paid YouTube channels who are absolutely off their rocker, uh, lunacy. I mean, absolute freaking lunacy, uh, if you ask me. And, you know, I'm going to come clean right here uh, publicly. People have been asking me, hey, why have you? And I love Greg Hunter. Let me say that, too. All right? I love the guy. I really do. Something's going on over there. Greg had a recent interview with some guy here. Uh, and Greg firmly backs this up. I know this on a personal level. I've spoken to him on the phone about it. Be they believe that President Trump was sent here by God, by God, to 
make a difference in the United States and in the world. I personally think that is an insult uh, to the majesty of God. Nobody is smart enough to know what God wants or thinks. And I already thought that we had a savior. Okay, uh, I guess maybe I'm wrong to certain people out here. But uh, that's a whole other ball game. I won't get into it. But I will not associate myself with guests that are, will appear on USA Watch Tag or Greg Hunter himself who, in publicly. Because I told Greg I would still be his friend. And I told him I love him straight out. But I will not be on a show that is proclaiming that Donald Trump has been sent here by God. You don't believe it? Go look at an interview he just did. It's pretty outrageous. Anyway, uh, with that said, um, it's very disturbing to me. And I do feel a personal sense of loss here. Because I did reach out to Greg after we had a little bit of a falling out. And uh, he never got back to me. And that's okay, too. Look, sometimes in life, you got to cut your losses. You know what I'm saying? Especially if you're a trader, you know what I'm talking about. In any, any aspect of your life, at one point, you got to say, enough is enough. You cut those losses. And uh, that's where I am right now. I cannot in good conscience appear on a show or any show, not just his, that is going to proclaim Trump as God or a servant of God or a savior deity. President Trump is not a savior deity. Uh, we have had many savior deities through life. Look it up for yourself. But I can promise you that Donald Trump is not a savior deity in any way, shape, or form. He was not sent here by God. If he were, wh let me ask you, you, you have, uh, are you a person of faith? Where do lies come from? I'm going to leave you off with that. All right, with that said, uh, again, I love you. Please share this video. Get it out there. I will see you tomorrow.